News of the solar flare last night had many of us wondering if the sun was responsible for the cell phone outages that we saw today. Our field meteorologist Michael Armstrong joining us in studio with some sun science, Michael, to help answer the question. Yeah, solar flares have caused damage in the past, but were they strong enough to impact your cell phone covers? The ones from last night, I asked Waylon Troyer at Science Museum Oklahoma that very question. I think uh, it's important to remember that space weather like this happens just about all the time. And just because we see larger outage events happening in the United States, it's important to remember that those might not necessarily be inexplicably linked. X-class solar flares are the strongest. However, some are much stronger than others. One way to measure them is on a scale of 0 to 20. The flares last night were between a 1 and a 2. Even those can still cause issues, but it usually takes something stronger. We can witness and experience radio disruptions and radio blackouts, and you might uh, experience GPS outages as well. But the stronger effects and the damage, such as power outages and, and power blackouts, usually come with coronal mass ejections, which are typically paired with solar flare. Another key factor, whether it's day or night, when the energy arrives from the sun makes a big difference on who sees impacts. For example, the United States was facing away from the sun in the middle of the night last night, of course, when the solar flare reached Earth. So a lot of the radio blackouts happened over the opposite side of the Earth, near India, Australia, Eastern Africa. So did the solar flares from last night cause cell phone disruptions here? The answer is most likely no. They seem to be disconnected and not really related to one another. It seems to mostly be just sort of a coincidence with the timing. Now, just talking with Waylon, we are approaching a peak in an 11 year solar cycle, and that's called the solar maximum. So it's still possible that we may see some additional disruptions and impacts from solar activity before the year is over. In studio, field meteorologist Michael Armstrong, KOCO 5 News.